Happy? That's happy, yeah. <laughs> My name is Hamza. I work at Alimentari in Toronto. We make butter chicken for Russell's Butcher Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to make the butter chicken that we sell at Russell's. So we're going to be cooking low and slow. It's a comfort food. It's like a hug. It's a dish that rewards the time you put into it. The recipe that I'm using is something that I've developed over the years cooking butter chicken and also using techniques from watching my mom cook Pakistani food in the kitchen where I grew up. So it's a sort of melange of the two. We're gonna start with the onions. Always starting with onions, starting with garlic or ginger, and then you build flavors starting with that. Onions really rough chop because we're gonna be pureeing this anyways. Butter chicken has become a favorite dish that's made with leftovers. It was a way to save leftover tandoori chicken that was cooked the day before. What do you do when they don't sell and you have a bunch of chicken the next day, they kind of dry out. And so it was made as a way to kind of moisten that chicken and serve it in a brand new way as a curry. Honestly, all of the great dishes that I love eating from different cuisine are a way to save uh, leftovers from going to waste. Pop my onions in. Oh, love that sound. The sizzle. We're gonna cut our garlic very roughly, but bigger. I used to mince my garlic all the time, but if you're cooking on longer heat or higher heat, your garlic's gonna burn. So if you cut it bigger, it won't burn. They'll sweat once you start smelling them in the room, that's when it's time to spice. Salt, you feel it going in your eyes? Yeah. <laughs> my grandmother used to cut kilos of onions with like a tiny serrated steak knife in her hand and not shed a tear. Just, I don't know how she did it. So I got cumin going in. I got turmeric, Kashmiri red chili powder, which is kind of a milder chili powder, but has a lot of flavor. I've got fenugreek or methi. We've got a garam masala blend, which is uh, ground coriander, cumin, star anise, uh, whatever spices you have laying around. So each household in Pakistan or India has their own garam masala blend, depending on kind of where they grew up, their economic status, um, what they have access to. So you work with what you have, right? Garam masala is basically a blend of spices. And if you go to each house, each house will have a different blend. That's why their food tastes so different, you know, house to house, region to region. I'm gonna add some tomato paste. Kind of get the sugars going there. And I'm gonna cut the tomatoes, get those going. Cool. This is a stock we made with the bones of the chicken that we marinated earlier. A lot of people will just use water, which is fine, but I find it's more luscious if you're using chicken stock. Plus it's a nice way to mitigate waste. Cool, so that's just gonna come together and simmer slowly until our tomatoes are cooked. We're basically cooking the tang out of the tomatoes right now. So we've moved our tomato onion mixture onto the stove there. And while that's simmering, we're gonna cook our chicken. All right, this is our chicken that we've had marinating in yogurt and Kashmiri red chilies, turmeric, garlic, ginger, onions, and cumin. Ideally overnight, but you can go like as little as two hours. The longer you leave it, the better it's gonna taste. That's one thing I remember about food at my mom's house. It was always way better the next day. All these spices have sat, they're doing their thing, they're penetrating the pores of your protein or your vegetable. But I find if you're making butter chicken from scratch, if you sear your chicken in the pan and use your fond on the bottom of the pan to mix into your sauce, you get that much more depth of flavor in your sauce. All the bits at the bottom are magic. I feel like the smoke is really creating a, a sort of soft filter effect on me. <laughs> the idea is to just get some caramelization or some color going on so that the sugars come out. You get a nice little bit of crunch on your chicken and it'll come through even after it simmers in the sauce. Take this off. Tomatoes are cooked. Pouring this into another container so that we can puree it. 
And let it cool a little bit first. Ready to blend. Nice. <laughs> Okay, sauce is gonna go into the induction burner. I'm gonna get it hot again. Hindi or Urdu, this is called murg makhni. Makhni is butter, but also buttery. If you have like, you know, a lot of chunks of ginger and onion throughout your sauce, it can take away from that buttery mouthfeel. My mom never used to strain sauces. She loved chunky stuff all throughout. I honestly like that texture as well. We're gonna add our chicken into here. And then this is that slow simmer part. Let it do its thing. I would say go for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Keep tasting it until it tastes great. <laughs> I once asked the chef like, you know, how long should I cook it for? And he's like, until it's done. <laughs> that was the answer. So at this stage, if you're worried about kind of the spices being too intense, it's cool because we're going to add yogurt and that's going to kind of mellow it out. I mean, I'm always also tasting it as it's cooking to see how intense it is, whether it needs salt, whether it's, you know, needs sugar. Taste and check your food at all times. There it is. Looks nice. There's our butter chicken. This is gonna be awesome. Mm. Yep, that's the one. <laughs>